Hello all you awesome people out there, my name is Okiru and welcome to this let's play of Lucius. So let's jump into it. So this is a horror type kind of game which I haven't played in a very long time. Uh, the last I played was uh, Dread Out which was not that good at all actually. So now I think it's time we try something else instead. This is one of them. It is loading. <laughs> Sometimes you have to live with loading screens. June the sixth, nineteen seventy two. It's time to blow out the candles. Remember to make a wish, honey. That's my boy. Very good. Happy birthday, son. Did you see that, Dad? Man, they grow up fast. I bet you can remember my sixth birthday like it was yesterday. Mary, could you please clean up? Lucius can help you with the dishes. He can stay up later this evening to play with his new toys, but in bed no later than ten. Yes, ma'am. It's my birthday and I have to help clean? What the hell? Later that evening. I'm looking so creepy. <laughs> Okay then. Get ready for bed. Okay, so let's see. Push spray to start hot production. Detect an indicator. Okay. Oh, it explained me everything. Well, can I play now? I really want to destroy the world or something. I can move with the usual buttons. Pick up pet lock. Lock the freezer over pointing at it with the padlock and press. There we go. The freezer is not cold enough. Well, we can do that. Doing stuff like this. Hello. 
I don't judge walking away casually. What the hell? Oh, what a pretty bird. <laughs> okay, that watch is actually creepier than my face. <laughs> what the what an ugly watch you have there, kid. If I put the pieces together, this all started years back, with the arrival of a new life. Dante Manor was a place filled with darkness, and there were outward ambitions and hidden histories in that house. I tried to help. I should not have become so involved. But how these things unfold when we are thrust on the scene? I can't account for it all. For my part in these events, I waive responsibility. But it's there. It's a mark. A mark I should have noticed. At its source, at the center of it all, was the boy. Well, let's continue this game, hopefully. Let's see what has in store for us. Uh, Mom, Dad, our house is on fire. Like, why didn't you wake me up and tell me that? Seriously? Oh. Lucius, there you are. And here I am, finally, face to face. What are you doing in my bedroom? It's okay. You can trust me. You know who I am, don't you? Satan? I've come to speak to you about your calling, my boy. Each offering you bring me will make you big and mighty. What it's is a simple thing to do, Lucius. You can influence your future and become a master over all. Where's the house on fire? But oh, so much to do. So much ahead of you. I have some things for the birthday boy. There on the desk. Uh, that thing. Well, I have to go to bed then. I can hear. Okay, Prissy. Um. You'll need this notebook. It will help you on your journey. Excellent. And look, a flashlight. This will help you find your way around at night. Yay. Go ahead. Pick up your new toys and see how they work. I already have. Such a bright boy. Hello. Now, Lucius, you need to do a little something. It is important that you are not caught. In the kitchen. You left the lock on the freezer door. You will need to get that padlock, Lucius, and hide it where nobody can find it. Otherwise, they will discover you. Okay. And believe me, you wouldn't want that to happen. Go now. Get the padlock. 
before the adults wake up. Okay, I will get the padlock if it can make you happy. It's a creepy old man in my bedroom at night. So why are they so not cleaned on my room? Ah, let's get rid of these. Mom, why didn't you clean my room? Even though I'm six years old, it can't be my job to do stuff like this. And I have no idea why I'm doing it. Okay, so... Is there anything important that I had to pick up? There was one thing. Anything in here? Nope. Anything down here? Doesn't seem like it's here. Nope. I think that teddy bear is also creepy. So let's um, move on here. Uh, press M to open map. Thank you. So I have to get to my room down this staircase. That seems easy enough. It's this way. Uh, this way around. I think, wasn't it? Yeah. What is that? I don't like that I have to pick up those kind of things. Okay, so that is easy enough. I have to go this way and this way and Yeah, we're back at the Oh, they didn't even need all the cake. Whoops. That's what you get for not eating all the cake. So I had to get the padlock. The padlock was there. What the hell? Detective McGuffin, what do we got here? It looks like a cardiac arrest, sir. The woman collapsed in the walk-in freezer. This was probably caused by the sudden change of temperature. She was in her mid-fifties. Typical of women her age. Did you talk with the owner of the house? No, sir. They're waiting for you in the kitchen. How can something like this happen, Detective? Was it a seizure of some kind? We'll look into it, but it looks like a case of misadventure. I'd ask that you stay clear of the kitchen and keep staff away while we clean up. Just relax and focus on getting life back to normal. Thanks, Detective. We'll try our best. July the 12th, 1972. Oh, shuck. So, what do we have to do this time? Hi, Jean. Thank goodness you're here. Things are a mess. This could have real negative repercussions in an election year. <clears throat> it's a private matter, and an unfortunate accident. The press will keep out of it. 
I've seen to that. I could always count on you, Gene. Make yourself at home while I tidy up some papers. Just ring for Alistair if you need anything. Take all the time you need. Okay. So, this is the first one of the deaths. So, I know there's many more. So, I will take one for every video. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. You can give it a thumbs up if you did. You can hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or write a comment down below. You can subscribe for more awesome videos. And I hope I'll see you all the next time. And I hope you all have an awesome day. So, until next time, farewell. <laughs>